It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 205. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo. I'm joined by my lovely co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, Tracy. Thanks so much for being here, Noel. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. You know what I else I really appreciate? What? The elite level on Patreon. <laughs> Me too. Brand new level. You are getting with the elite level three different podcasts, three different full podcasts. So that's Teen Mom Trash Talk, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, and Catfish Trash Talk as soon as we record them up to a week early and sometimes even more. That's so crazy. Because 90 Day Fiance is now on the app early. So we actually record early sometimes. Yeah. So whenever we record it, we're going to post it right up. Right away. Like you guys are listening to this episode on Monday. Uh Uh-huh. The elites are listening to it on Wednesday. How crazy. The Wednesday before you. Yeah, guys, like the, it just aired. It just aired. And with the elite membership, you get to be a patron of three different podcasts in one. So just keep that in mind. And you also get the perks of being a Patreon, like yeah. you're a you, patron. Sorry. Yeah, you, you get, get the BS. Sticker. Uh-huh. You get in the secret group. Mm-hmm. You get over 200 bonus episodes. Like what more do you want? Unexpected trash talk, 16 and pregnant trash talk, 90 day fiance self quarantine trash talk. Come on. Yeah, guys, you get all the stuff. Don't waste your time. Just go over to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Sign up because you know you want it. You know you want us. And guess what? When you join, you get a free sticker and we have brand new stickers that say I'm a trash talker. I love them. They're so cute. Only three people have gotten them so far. Ooh, so they're exclusive. Very exclusive. Uh, they're also for sale. Um, they're four dollars each. You could Venmo me at Tracy Dash Carnazzo with your address, and uh, I'll send them out. Check out all of our merch at tracycarnazzo.com and also in the Facebook groups. Okay. All right. All right. We're here to talk about Teen Mom Two, Season Ten, Episode Twenty Eight. It feels like Episode Twenty Eight Million. <laughs> I know. I I don't know. I don't know if I just don't. Like, I don't like watching this show anymore because we have to podcast about it. Like, I don't even know. Like, I just go through the motions of taking the notes, but I feel like I don't have the emotions of watching the show anymore. I don't know. You know, I will always like watching this better than OG. I don't mind watching this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I love 90 Day Fiance, but that's a little more of a chore for me because it's longer. Much longer. But I don't know. I like it, but it's just it's not the same as what it used to be. Of course, they have too much money. I can't yeah. wait till young pregnant comes back soon, right? Yeah, pumped. pumped. Yeah, All right, I'm well, so jacked up. Let's jump into it with Leah. Let's jump into the lump. Let's jump into the lump. I guess the All right, so lump. I guess she's got the lump, and uh-huh. she says that she has the lump, but she hasn't discussed it with the girls again lately. Right. You have Did to remind already discussed it. Uh huh. You remind them of it all the time. Hey, guys, mom might be sick. You know, like, what are you doing? You guys remember the lump? Do you want to touch it? It's still there. It hurts. It's grown. The lump. The lump on my breast. You know, like when you eat your pancakes and there's a lump in it? Uh Uh-huh. There's one in my breast. Did you forget? Do you want to feel it? I hope when you eat pancakes, you think of it. (laughs) Gross. Like, like, I don't understand. She's like, I hope they didn't forget. Um, So she's (laughs) going this week again to the doctor. Right. And she's hanging out with the girls. Mm-hmm. And doing she's nails, like, doing nails. She's like, girl time, girl, my mom. She is a walking, talking graphic T-shirt. She is. I am so glad <laughs> she's very nice and all. I'm glad she's not my mom. I would be very like, shut the hell. Up. I know. She's like, you girls will be women one day, too. Um, Yeah. Aren't we women now? Like we're ladies still. Um, <sighs> Is she going to like. I hope they don't read her book because they're going to be like, mom. OK, so I hear we're going to be women one day. You're not going to like lock me in the closet with some guy, are you? Right. Is that how we become women? Because I don't want to. I don't want to do it like you did, mom. <laughs> so now she also teases straight Allie about a crush. She's like, who do you miss at school? Your crush? Your crush? She's like, I don't know, mom. Maybe you should get your own love life together before you're really throwing stones over here. But I like that they're like, he's got to be nice. Unlike, Unlike Jason Poe. I know. <laughs> And I love that Addie's like, listen, you need to get 
a boyfriend or no, not, who was it? Um, was it straight alley? She's like, it was straight alley. He needs to take the trash out. And I'm like, yes, straight she's alley. smarter than than, you know, than her years would lead uh, you to believe me uh-huh. and straight alley have more in common than we think. Like all I've ever wanted was the trash taken out. All I ever wanted was to know what happened to their boxer that they used to have to leave in the garage at it Jason's died. house. Really? It died. Yeah, yeah, it died suddenly. She was very upset. Oh, I didn't know that at all. Oh, yeah. We talked about this on the podcast. Noel. Oh, I'm not smart. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Speaking of not smart, she also says uh, you guys is. Right. You guys is, you girls is, you people is. is. <laughs> and Addie suggests, she's like, Mom, you don't need a boyfriend. You got the cats. I mean, is she wrong? No. And no. Leah's like, oh, God. Oh, God. I got a date. Yeah. Uh huh. So now the next scene is Victoria, uh, apparently talking about sex. Get your freak on. I don't know. I, Victoria is wearing the strangest shirt I've ever seen. What is happening? Is she wearing a poncho? It was like she's wearing a poncho with denim sleeves. I, I saw someone make a jacket out of denim jeans on TikTok. The I, other well, day, and she wore and it. And I felt like she wore it. Yes. Well, now we know where it went. Yes. All right. Well, so Victoria, they sit, I guess, in the basement. This is the basement that got flooded. You remember yes. they had to go stay at Jason's? Yes. And everything you, smelled. You yuck. Carpeting. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. Definitely put down more carpeting in the yeah. basement. No, it's really smart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Victoria's like, oh, so hey, Leah, did you ever go to the doctor for that lump? <laughs> it's like Victoria. Victoria, I have footage of her talking to you about this on the television. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she you know went. what's happening. It's almost like they're taking like old scenes and like filtering them in they are because they have i think they just don't have much Mm -hmm. so she's like you know i have to go back to the doctor you know but they're going to give me a ton of pain meds if they do a surgery i had addiction what we are but we also spoke about this already that's what i'm saying like this is so recycled and then she's like i i don't want a scar i don't know if my boob will deflate and it's like listen i understand that they're made of air yes (laughs) she thinks that there is just an air pocket inside i don't think that's how it works what's to stop it from popping at any time i think her brain is made of air yes it is (laughs) her brain is gonna pop but I would be more worried about the outfit I was wearing if I were her. These tan boots with her wide leg with pants. her wide leg pants. I would. I thought I was never going to get over this. I, I couldn't know. stop looking. And then she wonders why she's single. So Leah is going to go to the doctor again because she has to go back for the lump. But you know what? What? This isn't true. Why? Because she's just going to the gynecologist. Uh huh. She's not going to the breast surgeon or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Well, she she I think that if they thought this was like a thing. Wouldn't they have been a little more proactive about it? Right. Right. Because if you're going back to the doctor to get this checked, they're not just going to give you a pap or just give you a breast exam. Right. Okay. So she's driving her Denali. Yes. And then the aerial view of her car is the suburban. Yeah. They, I don't know why they do this because they have one video of one car driving. Mm hmm. So she's going to self shoot the exam. And she said that the breast lump hurts more. So they're going to re image it. So she has to make an appointment. But she talks to the doctor. She doesn't want to scar. She doesn't want to pay for the surgery. Right. So they're going to make an ultrasound appointment. Right. That's what I mean. If you are going to get your three month checkup of your lump, mm-hmm. wouldn't it be an ultrasound? But that's what I was thinking. That's why I know this is not real. But also, I didn't know. I guess I don't know. I don't want to sound like dumb when I talk, but I didn't know that you wouldn't go to a gynecologist. Like, I'm not sure which kind of doctor you would go to. No, no, you would. But remember, if this is escalating to we have to check this lump again because we have to see if we need to do surgery, then you would probably go to a breast surgeon. Sure. And if nothing else, your gynecologist would have scheduled you for an ultrasound, not just been like, do you think it got bigger? Or a biopsy, no? Do you think it got bigger? Right. Uh huh. If I poke here, what'll happen? Like, yeah. what was the, what was the point of another breast exam? We know she has a lump. She told you she has a lump. You saw the lump on the ultrasound. That is a wasteful visit. You don't think that they're trying to make something of this? Yes, they're reaching. Okay. They're definitely mm-hmm. reaching. I mean, obviously, I hope everything's okay. But like, of this course. is what I'm saying is what's being filmed is not the proper protocol. Okay. And you know how I know that because huh. I went to school at OBGYN.com. I mean, guys, she has. I was there. Just saying. Uh, yeah. So now she FaceTimes with Kylie. And I love how Kylie knows she's filming. And mm-hmm. she's like, how are you? And she's like, I have greasy hair. 
maybe to t- I don't know it's like you knew you were gonna film too you couldn't just clean that take a shower take a shower dry but shampoo also, no one would know because you're just on the FaceTime they can't you really were all they only showed you two for less than three seconds right they only showed you when you said I have greasy hair yes then it was like well let's show I know <laughs> uh so now Leah tells her you know if it grows they're gonna biopsy it okay but like wouldn't that be the protocol anyway if that's it grew we were that's yeah what I'm saying like they didn't even this was it was dumb basically this was all dumb it was very 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 dumb Mm -hmm. um i personally i'm just trying to make my life better me too and that's why i've been using care of because all of care of's products are formulated with good for you clean ingredients that are backed by science Ooh, care of is super transparent about the research and sourcing behind each one of their products care of is great it's a great, great uh, vitamin company. Me and Noel both use it. Yes. So you take this quiz. It's an mm-hmm. in-depth online quiz, and it takes the guesswork out of vitamins, and it asks you questions about your diet, your lifestyle, and your health concerns to help address your specific wellness goals. You get a personally tailored approach to your unique health needs, and then you could retake the quiz at any time as your goals and needs change. And then you follow care of expert recommendations or... You could adjust your pack at any time. What you get is totally up to you. Oh, I love Care of. The Care of app allows you to track your routine and earn rewards like discounts and free products when you're consistent with taking your vitamins. Mm. They just make it so easy with this personalized subscription delivered to your door each month, contact free, so you just never have to worry about running out. Right. I love care of because you could just take the pack throw it in your bag and you're good to go you don't have to remember every single thing it's so true it's so convenient it really is and for 50 percent off your first care of order go to take care of.com and enter code tmtt50 so that's 50 percent off take care of.com code tmtt awesome <sighs> well you know what else is awesome? Uh, kale. Okay. So, so if Natalie, you say. I'm going to tell you why. Because Natalie is, quote, coming over. From the basement <laughs> where she lives. You mean she's home? Yeah. It's like, who cares? Also, do you notice when they show Kale's house, it's like this house. But then when they show you talk, it's this house with like no front porch. Uh-huh. And then she's sitting there talking to Natalie and there's like a porch. Yeah. The thing is like, this isn't the house. Cause she, they used to show the house all the time. And now this is just suddenly a different house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's that's really weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, listen, the storyline for the last two years is Isaac doesn't want to go to Joe's. Yeah, we got it. Joe, you know why he doesn't want to go to Joe's Joe's probably like no nonsense, no BS. Do your right, stuff. But also he doesn't have, he has one sister. He doesn't have his two brothers. Yeah, but it's also like 12 brothers. I don't know how many kids she has. I don't know. A lot. (laughs) A lot. And Joe also gives him more work when he doesn't do his schoolwork. So there's consequences. Right. Which she says that she doesn't do. This was a very hobby centric episode. I know they finally showed him. I guess he's like needing some money. Yeah, he needs a paycheck. That's what's happening. So she says, you know, Lincoln goes over to hobbies and they play football. They have fun. But like he doesn't really help him with his schoolwork. Right. Well, but you could tell, though, it's true. He's so into football. Oh, Bobby. yeah. That's all he cares about. Uh-huh. He's like, Listen, kid, you can be whatever you want to be. As long uh, as it's a football player. As long as it's a football <laughs> player. And don't worry about going to school. I got right. you. Mm-hmm. He's like, listen, I didn't go to school. <laughs> and and look at me. Look at me. I'm on TV. Look at me. I can't <laughs> even close my mouth. <laughs> look at me. I can't <laughs> even keep my pee in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go to Wawa and you're going to get yourself a nice anyway. (laughs) So she keeps talking about how happy she is when she gets along with Javi. Right. But also, like, did they get along so well in the scene and I didn't notice? It just seemed like a regular. Right. But that's what she's saying, like how they could talk. So Javi drops off Lincoln and he explains, like, football is 45 minutes away and he's going to have to every Friday night have a game. He's going to have practices. So he's on, like, some other team outside of school. That's a lot of work or outside for a of the neighborhood. Kid. Yeah. And I like how Kale says, all right, well, let me know if you could take him to practice. If you can't, <laughs> I could potentially have a sitter. Wait, you mean the nanny downstairs? You mean your friend Natalie could come over? Right. And maybe watch your kid. Uh-huh. For okay. money. 
like she does what? every day. Yeah, I don't get it. She was really happy to talk to Javi. Okay, but like really happy. I'm you know why? Saying, because um, they're soulmates. Okay, you know why though? I think it's because um she really likes to get Lauren mad. Of course she does. <laughs> and it's like, I would too. Lauren mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah. How I would hard- too. I know it's really hard though. I know that Kale has, you know, a potential sitter. Lincoln's football is 45 minutes away. He goes to practice all the time. And then every Friday night he has a game. Yeah, that's really hard. That is so hard. I bet she doesn't even have time to go to the grocery store. But HelloFresh, you can make dinner in 30 minutes and you don't even have to go to the grocery store. You don't even have to like choose. This is what I'm going to have tonight. It chooses for you. (laughs) <laughs> because with HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. And you skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's no- America's number one meal kit. I love HelloFresh. Okay. I have been making <laughs> so many HelloFresh meals. I absolutely love it. I love the quality of the meat too. Mm. No, so do I. And the vegetables too. And everything comes so cold. Yes. Which I love. Cold, and everything comes with such detailed instructions that mm-hmm. anyone can do it. Yeah. You won't screw it up. Like people are so intimidated usually to cook. This is yeah. not intimidating. Well, HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips. So you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or less. Awesome. You also get better value. Well, it's true. And everything's so high quality. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 14 and use code Trash Talk 14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. So that's HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 14 and use code Trash Talk 14. No, 14 free meals plus shipping. Yeah, that's wild. Come on, guys. Wild. You know what else is wild? What? Brianna's getting more tits. Brittany's getting another ass. Nobody's scared. Nobody's it's almost scared. like nothing happened. But it's like, no- are they playing this down? I don't think this is real. I mean, I don't I have to tell you, I don't know. They seemed very like maybe they're just blase about it because this is like Brianna's fourth surgery. I know, but still. So her and Brittany are in Miami mm-hmm. and she said that the recovery is going to be a lot shorter. So they go to Dr. Miami, obviously. Never in my the life. The guy who almost killed them both. Right. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. Brittany's in there and she's like, yeah, I need lipo on my outer thighs. Yes. To correct the unevenness. And it's yes. like, yeah, you did that, Dr. Miami. Uh huh. You did that. Yeah. You shouldn't be charging her. They probably he's won't. Not tra- he's yeah. not charging her. Yeah. Because they like, probably filmed it. How is that good? publicity yeah i don't know like shouldn't it be like one and done right why like why is this anybody's fourth surgery right if it's not new things like why is it the same also thing? you're only getting lipo on your outer thighs what about your butt well i think she's i think she's just getting she, her th- hips more slim yeah i think she's getting her outer thigh like i think mm-hmm. she's getting a little more sculpted okay. maybe yeah Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Brianna's getting bigger boobs so she could fill out her skin. But she keeps saying, I don't like big boobs. You do. OK, so but if you like. OK, you don't what like she's him, saying is she doesn't want him to overfill her. She doesn't want her holes filled. She doesn't want <laughs> her to be overfilled. She doesn't want to get stuffed with a sushi roll. <laughs> I mean, but here's the problem with such a big butt and big breast. They look heavier than they are. I can't believe Brianna's butt. Like, I can't believe it. Every time I am Mm -hmm. startled every time I look at it. But I can't believe she's not there to get her butt fixed. Right. Right. Because Brittany is. Right. I don't think Brittany's looks nearly as bad as Brianna's. Not even a little bit. No, it's so weird to me. (sighs) Well, they bring their friend Shay because Shay is apparently the bitch that's going to take care of both of them. Right, sure. Well, Roxanne calls. Brittany goes back to surgery first. Mm-hmm. This is Brianna's fourth surgery. And she's like, yeah, you know, I did it again because I guess recovery is always smooth. It's like, do you remember uh-huh. when you and your sister almost bled to death? Yes. But she I can't guess. say that, though. Right. So now Brianna goes in. They're all in the office. Mm-hmm. Just doing a real quick big surgery just right there. 
But why did Brianna, because I'm not sure, before mm-hmm. her surgery, she had on like compression mm-hmm. socks, but then she had like these, I guess, like almost like vibrating. Yeah. So what they vibrate. do is, <clears throat> so those um, things that go over your legs, they go yeah. over your compression socks. What they do is they uh, increase your circulation uh-huh. and some of them, like they fill up with air and they squeeze you and then they let it go. Right. Like my foot massager does. I'm yes. saying, what's the point of it? Oh, because the, you have to be very careful about blood clots. When you're doing these kinds of surgeries. Oh, so you have to do that. You do you have to have this on during the surgery? They that's probably why they probably okay. kept it on during okay. the surgery. So now um she's snoring, she gets out of surgery mm-hmm. and she was saying, out like a light. Oh, yeah, because they they literally just finished. Oh. So they're staying overnight. Uh-huh. I love how they just wheel Brianna into the back of a van. Yeah, well, this is like what they did to uh, what's her name? Jade. No, it's not because Jade had a freaking thing. I feel Brianna- like they tossed her in. <laughs> Brianna could sit down, though, because she only had her boobs done. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So they wheel her into a van and they just strap the wheelchair and it's like she's just taking the bus home. That See, that would scare the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. So Brittany is in a BBL oh, she's chair taking the bus home. <laughs> <laughs> and she needs her massage because she's very, very swollen. So, okay, there's another thing I did not know until they showed Jade. So you massage. You have to get medical massages. You have to get like, like, I don't know, at least 20 of them. And it's very painful. Yeah, I can't even imagine how painful that would be. Mm -hmm. Very, very painful. So now they go home and Lewis texted her as soon as she got out of the surgery about Stella because he wants to see her. So not show up. She's like, listen, I don't know. You got to talk to my mother. Yeah. So they get home from the surgery. Lewis's car is at the house. They get out like nothing. Ha- like you were in a wheelchair. Everyone's fine. I'm confused. That's why I don't think that this adds up. Yeah, because also, don't you think Roxanne would have been like Brianna and Brittany coming from surgery today? You know what right. I mean? Like you can't come you gotta over. Help, Lewis. You got to help more. Lewis, you can't keep you flat can't. leaving your kid. Brianna's out there picking up the dog. Right. I don't understand. No, no this okay. is not. Because no. she said she's like, I won't be able to hold Stella, but you're picking up the dog. No, that's not true. I'm telling you, it's just not true. It's not happening. Was that the dog that uh, Brianna was picking up? Is, I can't believe us- we were talking about dogs and that happened. <laughs> you gave us sound effects. Yeah, that's what it is. I pressed that button. I have like one of those sound effect buttons. That's good. That's really good. I did. So- I hit it again. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Perfect. So this timeline, not not adding up at all. Yeah. So okay. Lewis. Lewis's car is at the house and Lewis doesn't want to be on camera. So they film him (laughs) Mm -hmm. anyway. Okay. But also like, do you think we forgot who you are? People are recognizing him in every sushi shop around Florida. (laughs) You know, every time I see a truck, I know it's you. Every time I see bad tuna, I know it's you. (laughs) Every time (laughs) I I see anything welded anywhere, (laughs) I know it's definitely not you because you don't have a job. No, that's true. Uh huh. I just love how they're like, Lewis is in the backyard because he doesn't want to be on camera. And then they just (laughs) show him in the backyard. Yeah. And it's like, oh, they're like, we're just going to shoot him from a distance. Right. But like we said, like, what is the thing? Why doesn't he want to be on camera? Because he's stupid and ugly. Yeah, he's so ugly. What a dumb person to have a kid with. I mean, come on. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I think that through the history of the show, there's been a lot of dumb dads. Yeah. Lewis is pretty bad. Lewis is like a real scumbag. He just is. Mm -hmm. I don't like his energy. I don't like anything about this guy. Yeah. So it turns out the reason why Lewis came is because Roxanne called Lewis's mom again. She's like, yeah, I had to to call his mom again. (laughs) I love that. Tell him his son son ain't shit. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's not all men, but like it's, <laughs> it's her son. <laughs> Noel. Oh, man, got, I love he her. Got, she tattled on him. Yeah, he got in trouble from his mom because, you know, he definitely lives with his mother. Oh, for sure. She's uh-huh. like, you better drop Lewis off here because <laughs> Dalita needs someone to pick her up <laughs> because Brianna got her tits done again. <laughs> she can't just stick her tit in her mouth. They're bleeding. They're leaking all <gasps> over. The blood is all over my house. I still have a top from Jade down. <laughs> I keep hosing off the living room. <laughs> now I got Britney's ass is bleeding. Brianna's tits are bleeding. There's Jay's so much blood. Bleeding. <laughs> oh, my God. You had to see it was coming out of her chin. <laughs> you got to come over, Lewis. I need your help. I don't even like to do. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe I'm going to stand up on the table and yell at you. Oh, my God. That's right. She went spider monkey. I never, forgot about that. Never forget. 
never Oh, poor Devoin. So <laughs> now I love, I love this. Okay. So Lewis, you know, Lewis is that person, you know, this guy, everyone knows this guy. Yeah. Lewis has a situation. He's waiting on a friend to get him a mm-hmm. job. Like this is always, you know, he's got a car situation. So she's like, what, what, is, what are you doing this week? And he goes, oh, I'm lending my car to my cousin to go to Miami. Oh, you're lending your car to your cousin to go to Miami. That seems real. This seems like this is your cousin's car. <laughs> okay. That's 100% your cousin's uh-huh. car. So basically he's like, my cousin won't let me borrow his car because he's going to Miami. Yes. Uh huh. There's no way that Lewis has a Honda Accord. Okay. But as soon as I saw it, I'm like, give me a break. Not, you don't even listen, have a not job. That such, not that it's such a fancy car. It's just like, you can't afford that. No, you if don't Lewis have that. And if you came, can, you're a POS because you don't pay for your daughter. If he would have showed up in a bicycle, though, I would have been like, he can't afford that. That's not his bicycle. I would love to watch him ride a bicycle. <laughs> that would be interesting. That'd be an interesting thing to watch. We're going to put that on the Patreon. We're going to okay. get Lewis to ride a bicycle and we're going to just film it. I like it. So she's like, listen, I need help this week. And then she's like, I'm going to call a lawyer. She, she doesn't tell him, but she's saying, like, I think I need to call a lawyer. Brianna. Brianna, you've been needed to call a lawyer. What, ha- what is he going to get better? Well, I, I think I think she was waiting. I really think she was trying to. OK, well, I mean, Brianna's like that. a little bit like me. She really tries to see the good in people. Yeah, I well. see it, <laughs> even though she's such a B-I-T-C-H. Right. This is a non-cursing podcast. Oh, I see this. I said <laughs> a lot of things today, actually. <laughs> so now I like Stalita comes inside. She's so cute. And she's like, are you done with your daddy? <laughs> she's like, yes, I want to like, take a yes. bath. <laughs> yes. And I was like, I hear you, kid. And she's like, all right, go say goodbye to your daddy. And she's like, no, <laughs> she's like, Stella, you can't be mean. That's your daddy. And she's like, she's no, like, is absolutely it not. Right. Is it? is it? Prove it. Because I think my daddy's Devon. Yeah. This I is love that he posted a Father's Day picture with Nova and Stella. Listen. Is he the worst? Yes, he's yeah, also the worst. He's not great. But is he? That's whatever. You know what I mean? He's, there's also much worse than him. For uh-huh. sure. You know yeah. what? His his um intentions are genuine. Yes. Uh-huh. He's just he, a he just moron. doesn't know how to execute them. Yeah. He's not the greatest, but they're right. Like he, the, her he baby daddy could be like Adam, exactly. you know, or someone terrible. Could you uh-huh. imagine if she asked him to sign over Nova? He'd be like, what? I don't yeah. even want to sign over Stella. Right. Th- that's the thing. Right. And Lewis will be like, gladly. Right. He'll be like, yo, I don't know if I could come sign the papers today because my cousin's <laughs> Honda Accord is in Antarctica. <laughs> I'm busy welding. Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. Remember, well, he used to wear those dumb uptown hats. What a yes. moron. Yes. And you remember when he was DJing somewhere uptown over here? And I was uh-huh. like, we have to go. He DJs in um, Washington Heights, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Let's see. I can't wait until he comes back and uh, DJs a fake party. That's OK. We'll go. Okay, good. Brianna's engaged now. I know. I forget this. Uh huh. She's engaged to Javi. Mm-hmm. Yes, she is. She might not be so sure what to do next, but I'll tell you, Zola makes wedding planning easier and less stressful by creating everything couples need all in one place. So that's wedding vendors, save the dates and invitations, free websites, registry, and more because weddings are coming back, Noel. Yeah, they are. We have I'm going to, to a to, wedding next week. Yeah, we're all going to weddings. And listen, we're thrilled to celebrate. Everyone's thrilled to celebrate with friends and family. But they really aren't sure where to start a lot of times because there's a laundry list of things to do when you get engaged. And what are they? Uh, the registry. Do you remember Just, like <sighs> when you got engaged and you were like, Tracy, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's so overwhelming. You don't even know where to start. I know you need someone to guide you through and help you stay on track. And that's where Zola comes in because you can plan your whole wedding right from your couch online or in Zola's five star app. You save a ton of time by using tools that all work together in perfect harmony and all of Zola's Zola's tools tools are completely <laughs> free to use. Plus free guest addressing and free shipping and returns every single day. So awesome. If you're having a virtual event, you could stream it on your Zola website for free and you get free personalized paper samples to try Zola out before you buy. I love that. See what all those five-star reviews are about. Go to Zola.com slash trash talk today and use promo code save 50. That's save 50. Five zero to get 50% off your save the dates for peace of mind. You'll receive free change the dates with your purchase. That's mm-hmm. Zola Z O L a.com slash trash talk promo code save 
50. You know, the wedding I'm going to next week, they use Zola. Did they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's because mm-hmm. it's the best. I was looking up their registry. Everything was Zola. You know who's not using Zola? Jade. <laughs> for sure. She said that she's been home for a week. She's making some bacon and then she's got to go to work and make some bacon. But it looks like a bacon. I don't know. Sheet. It's just like one layer of bacon. She probably still has the plastic that separates in it. In it. Probably. And it melts. She's like, don't go. Don't <laughs> Why does she talk She's like so that? unlikable? She really She's is. so miserable. It seeps out of her. I have never had less fun watching someone make a bath bomb. Yeah, right. Why is nothing enjoyable? Nothing is enjoyable. She mm-hmm. is a nasty, nasty bitch. Yeah, and she is. She is a miserable parent. And so is he. And I if I was Chloe, I would run away like the dog. Right. Nobody's fun. Nobody's Chloe, fun. Nobody laughs. Chloe. Run, uh-huh. run like the husky. Run to Miguel. <laughs> like husky. Run so to Miguel. <laughs> her lease is up at the salon, but you know, don't worry about it. I could just keep paying or whatever. Yeah, okay, whatever. So okay. now they make the bath bombs. Chloe starts crying because it's over. Chloe has a lot of uh, emotional issues from her parents. You think? And also, if I was Chloe's age and I just made a bath bomb, I would cry because I want to take a bath too. Right. But she was just sad that it was over at all. Right. Like because just, now they won't, they have nothing else to do with her. Yes. So mm-hmm. she's like, you have to go to bed now. And Chloe picks up a folding chair <laughs> and goes into her room. And then she's like, do you want some milk to lay to, down to with? Go, oh, to, do you want some milk to, to have rot some, your face? Have some bottle rot. <laughs> oh, God. Gross. It's, she, it, I'm thinking like, what is she thinking? I don't know. But then Chloe really reminds me of you because she wants a snack. Uh Uh-huh. Me too. (laughs) Sean's like, I gave you a snack. It's an apple. Uh Uh-huh. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, I threw that one away. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. And mm -mm, he's like, I bet you it's in your room. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. (laughs) Noel, the other day I came to your house. Uh Uh-huh. Your purse was on the the deck. Uh Uh-huh. What happened? Well, um, I put a cheese snack in my bag mm-hmm. and I forgot about it. And mm-hmm. it's the mm-hmm. summertime mm-hmm. and it smelled like baby barf. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, Matt told my aunt we were in Kentucky and he was like, you know, um, I know that I married like a very um, particular type of person. And <laughs> I know this because the other day I went to throw something out in her bathroom and there was a craft singles wrapper on the floor. <laughs> Uh, that's who I am. Mm-hmm. That is yeah. who you are as a person. I wouldn't mm-hmm. even blink an eye if I saw that. Uh huh. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, well, you have to wipe it something. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, God. I just the really gross myself. Sheet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, but now it is. <laughs> so she threw the, the apple into her room, did not throw it into the garbage, but lied straight to his face. <laughs> just like Sean. Sean's like, did you just lie? And it's like, oh, yeah, just like when you had a dope napkin. Right. <laughs> just like when you lied about your crack pipe. Uh-huh. Yes, I learned it I from watching that. you, Dad. <laughs> just like when you lied about, I don't know, being sober, having yeah. a job, having a rap being, career. Being a good dad. <laughs> uh-huh. Having a fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> so then they lock her in her dark room where she's screaming, please stop yelling at me. But why is it so dark in there? She has no lights or windows in her room. It's almost like Ronald from 90 Day yes. made her a jail cell. Yes. You know what it was? It was like, hey, Chloe, we want to recreate where grandma is. Yes. A cell. Mm-hmm. This is a cell. <laughs> so. Jade and Sean are there on two different pages. Oh, because that's pages. the problem. No, they're on the same page. They're both bad parents. Also, Sean lives there now. Remember oh, before it was good. going too fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, are they? Engaged? I don't want him to uh. move in. Also, oh, Sean, I don't want to watch Chloe 24 seven. I don't want to be the stay at home dad. It makes me resent you. Yeah. OK, well, here we are. Yeah. Here we and are. Again. Jade screaming, go use your toilet. It's like, oh, OK. Uh-huh. And then she says, Chloe is in a grouchy phase. No, Chloe's in a <laughs> I have terrible parents phase. Yeah, it's, Chloe's in an I'm unhappy phase. Uh huh. Sean is nasty as the day is long. Everything is exactly the same. But then she tells her you can have cereal chips after you go potty. What is a cereal chip exactly? No one knows. And there's no way to find out. 
Yeah, I know. Too bad there's not such thing as like Google. <laughs> Google. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Um, no such thing. Okay. One day I'll find out. Well, Ashley and Barr are both in school. Mm-hmm. And MTV, listen, is this a very important conversation? Sure. Is MTV forcing them to talk about this and everything? Yes. 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 Um, so they're talking about racism and they're mm-hmm. saying like ever since, you know, George Floyd got murdered and right. everything has come to light, you know, a few, what was it last year? Yeah. Um, they've been getting a lot of racist comments. They're getting DMS that are disgusting. I was very upset by what people were saying to her. I was also very upset yeah. about it. And I, let me, I remember when it was happening. Like, I can't believe it. Every time they would talk about Black Lives Matter, people would attack them. But it's like, but the things that people would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like I couldn't hateful. imagine, but I couldn't imagine ever speaking to anybody that way. But that's what no Barr matter, was talking about. No matter their like, race, ethnicity, what? Of course. Barr right. was saying that they're talking about very hateful people. They were getting harassing DMs. Oh, so scary. And Ashley said something very real. She said that people are mad to see black people on TV and people are mad when they're successful as well. Sure. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. They're sending her death threats. They're sending her things saying, like, oh. I hope you get raped. Oh, like you should be hung. Are you kidding me? Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh. So they said they have to prepare Holly for it. And this has nothing to do with them being on TV. They have to prepare Holly for, for a life for a life. Yes, that's, that's a lot of. And obviously, you know, they're getting a lot of things because they're in the spotlight. Sure. But like people are disgusting, regardless you know? of whether or not they're in the spotlight, they're going to go through racism in their life. For They're going to sure. experience racism. For sure. So they mm-hmm. touch a little bit on systemic racism, uh, which is, you know, I think a very important thing for the teen mom viewers. Yes. To understand, because I think that a lot of places when you live uh, in just a white neighborhood, mm-hmm. you're not exposed to these things. You don't understand how it affects people. Um, now, Nobody has ever told me to get raped because I'm white. Correct. It's just the way it yeah. is. And it's that, the craziest that, thing. That is exactly uh-huh. what they mean when they say white privilege. White yes. privilege doesn't mean that you came from or a that rich you were rich. Right. No. White privilege means that you are not threatened because of the color of your skin. Right. You are not denied things because of the color of your skin. That's what they mean when they say. Um, but it horrifies me that that even exists. Yeah. It's very scary. Mm-hmm. So now it's wash day for Holly. She's going to wash her hair in the sink. Very I love good. it. My grandmother used to do the same thing for me. My mom lay on the, the counter. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> so now um, they're going to go over to T and Ted's. I love T's hair like this. Very cute. Looks so good. I love Teddy. I love everything here. I love. I really do. I really like them. So mm-hmm. now uh, also T brings up something. It was the anniversary of Breonna Taylor's murder. Ugh. That's Ashley so is so overwhelmed and. She's and she, again, she says something very real. She said she has no room to slack. Can you imagine mm-hmm. if Ashley was like Janelle? Right. Can you imagine if Ashley was like Amber, the racist things that people would say? She'd be in jail. If she was like yes, Amber, she'd sure. be in jail. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Without a doubt. It's not even a question. Yes. And it's if like, Barr so- was David, he'd be in jail. For sure. Mm-hmm. Um. So that's why. You know, she's like she's she's trying to not misstep because she's yeah she's mm-hmm. under a microscope. It's terrible. And Ashley explained she really did not see much racism. They had money. She right. was raised with money and she really didn't understand everything. And T explains that she tried to give her a better chance. She always tried to put her in a white school. Mm hmm. And but it's but the only way she could have a chance is if she was right. in a white school. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's really it's really, uh, really upsetting. Uh-huh. And T asks when she wants to tell Holly about right. what's going on. Right. And, you know, Barr says, you know, Holly's mixed and we have to also talk to her about that. And sure. Barr, Barr said he was the white kid in a black school. So he experienced his own form of discrimination. Right. Because it's like, it's just very, very overwhelming. No matter how you flip it, it's overwhelming. Sure. It's, uh-huh. uh, he went through a lot of trauma mm-hmm. and Barr wants to teach Holly about both sides. Which is great. I love them. I think they're so good together and good as a family. Okay. So I'll tell you this. Yeah. Um, people have a lot of things to say about Ashley. Yes. Have you seen Ashley and Barr scream mm-hmm. at Holly until she cries hysterically, lock her in a dark room and just never No. 
Never. How, how is a happy kid? But yet people will say that Ashley and Barr are worse parents than mm-hmm. Jade and Sean. Of course. So and isn't that amazing? Put that in your pipe and smoke it, guys. Be, <laughs> be aware of what you say. Be aware of how you think. I mean, I think that a lot of people are guilty of it without really realizing. Yes. It. But it is time to take responsibility and it's time to think about the feelings that you're having and why you're having them. It's time to change the world, guys. Come on, let's do it. This let's is team do world it. trash talk. <laughs> Obviously, we are changing the world. Yeah, one podcast at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Please, guys, take all of your uh, advice, parental advice, medical advice, <laughs> anything that you need. We're here to give you advice on life because um, who else would you listen to besides a comedian and a caterer to the stars? Yeah, I mean, honestly, guys, regular person, Noel Winters. <laughs> come on. Come on. Noel Winters, her dog. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, yeah. uh, just just throwing that out there. Take take a little swirl, swirl in your brain. What's going on right now? Swirl it around, swirl it around. Do some research. Read some articles. Let's go. All right. Talk to your friends. Talk to your family. Let's 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 get just a conversation. Talk. Let's going. have some conversations. Yeah. Also, tell them I'm pretty. <gasps> yeah. OK, you could tell them that. Tell them that she's very smart, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. just because you are. You're a nice lady. So, yeah. But you know what? If you were smart, you'd be an elite level mm-hmm. uh, patron. Go over to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast join our elite level and you'll get this podcast almost a week before that's so airs. crazy yeah almost a week just saying just i mean elite there. offers so much guys just our patreon in general offers so we much work our asses off to give you guys the best experience that we possibly can on patreon and if you can't support us on patreon that's okay we love you anyway we love that you listen so give us a five-star mm-hmm. rating and an amazing review on itunes or wherever you listen to us we really do appreciate it and make sure if you want to chat about the podcast, about the show, join our Facebook group at Teen Mom Trash Talk Podcast. Uh, very important to go over there. A lot of people DM us. They want to chat about the show. We love you. We appreciate we you. We do. We don't have the time to chat separately to everyone. Yes. That's why we have a group. If you want to tell us anything, go over to the group, post it in the group. We answer everything. Yeah, post it in the group. The group's also fun. You don't want to talk to just us. Do you want to talk to everybody? No, you definitely don't want to talk to just us. We are not as great as you think we are. No, Tracy, her personality, nowhere it's, near as good as you not think. Good. No, while you think she's pretty, she's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're going to see lots of pictures. Um, and also, a lot of people are like, well, I don't have Facebook. Okay, guys, well, make a Facebook. Join the group. Right. Let's, you know, get it rolling tons and tons of things to do over there and uh make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter noelle's doing a bang up job of keeping up with all of the oh. gossip on instagram and twitter that's teen mom podcast on twitter teen mom trash talk on instagram i'm at trixie tuzini on instagram and twitter noelle's at noe girl you guys know it you love it follow us give us a comment like our pictures share our stuff okay we're, we're very important people like i mean just- tracy we're super important I'm on cameo guys. You can, you can get a cameo. I do bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, you know, anything. Divorces. Divorces. Does it all. Yeah. She's also um, at OBGYN.com. OBGYN.com slash Tracy Carnazzo for 50% off your next pap smear. (laughs) Is that believable? I can't stand you. Uh Uh-huh. Well, she does it virtually. She just I coaches do, you on how to do I it. Just, I just, you got to put your vag very close <laughs> to the screen. <laughs> Make sure you have long enough Q-tips. Yeah, you can do very... this, guys. <laughs> uh, do you have a do you have a Q-tip available? <laughs> okay, now you put that in the Ziploc bag, and you're gonna send it to me. Speaking of sending things, we have tons of merch for sale, and we have brand new stickers. Tra- I am a trash talker. What? Yeah, I love them. them. They're very cute. I'm going to post them in the group. Go over there. Do all the stuff. We absolutely love you. And guess what? You know what what the password is to get into the group? Besties. B-E-S-T-I-E-S. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.